Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Good Friday morning, October the 23rd, and I'm Bree Groves with your News 5 update. The East Troublesome Fire exploding yesterday, now the second largest in our state's history. At last check, that fire had now grown to more than 170,000 acres. It is only 5% contained, and mandatory evacuations are in place for large portions of Grand County. The Cameron Peak Fire that's been burning for more than two months now in Larimer County is 57% contained. It's at 207,000 acres, and we are hearing reports that it has damaged or even destroyed around 300 buildings. COVID-19 has canceled the high school football fall season for the Manitou Springs Mustangs because of a community outbreak, and the team would not be able to play those mandatory four games to qualify for playoffs, so they will be asking Chassa to play in the springtime. A new traffic signal has been activated, or will be, at South Rock Rim and Tech Center Drive next Tuesday. The $5.5 million project added ADA accessible ramps at the intersection. It replaced sidewalks, curbs, and gutters to improve drainage as well. Let's get over to your forecast because it happens to be a weather alert day, Sam. Weather alert because of our cold morning. We actually had some freezing patchy drizzle up over Monument Black Forest, generally northern El Paso County, and it's going to be cold today. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Now the thing is, it'll bounce back pretty well on Saturday with a temperature around 70, followed by Sunday when we bring a lot of wind and we are going to bring snow from Sunday night through Monday. On top of that, it looks real cold outside Pueblo in the 30s and 20s. So definitely seeing some snow potential there. Track it as we go through time. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.